Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back today to part two of episode six of the Minecraft story mode. So we've just spent our time just getting to know the YouTubers. They kind of don't trust Jesse, Ivor, Petra or Lucas. So it's kind of split at this current point. So we're currently trying to figure out what's going on. If you guys do enjoy this video and you miss Ruben, then be sure to thumbs up the video. I appreciate all the support. Plus. At 1,000 likes, I'll bring you guys the next part. So let's do a little bit of uh, snooping around, all right? Let's talk to these, see what these say. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torque Dog was, you know. I miss Torque Dog already. Any theories? I wanted to talk to you first. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. You know, check in on how you're doing. Oh, um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation. But other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. <laughs> the sarcasm from Ivor, it honestly, it makes me laugh. You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. He does. He Isn't seems he really nice. That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. Something strange. There's definitely is going something on. strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people. See what you can find out. I'm gonna keep asking around about Torque Dog. Torque good Dog. Luck. Yes. Happy investigating. Alrighty. Let's do a little bit of snooping around. Let's go and talk to Mr. Captain Sparkle Pants. Hey, Sparkles and Cassie Rose. Yeah. Yep. Hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind hi. if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? She seems really like fast responsive. Maybe she's in on it. Why would someone kill him? Kate, Cassie, you got upset before. What about Lizzie and Talk Dog? There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. She Why seems... was that? I don't know. Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just... Made me mad, I guess. Why would someone kill him? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know. You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. It's seriously like Get a detective thing. Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. I mean, they all don't seem to like each other at this group. Well, they do, but it's, it's very divided. So what we're going to have to do is try and bring it together. I'm just making sure I don't miss anything at all. Looks like a little bit of talking is going to have to happen, so... Let's start off by talking to Dan TDM and Ellie Shadow Lady. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Why so interested in his stuff? Why target him? You dislike Torque Dog? That's it for now. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Torque Dog. He had a rare item? So this Did rare he? item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay... Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? A 
Oh, come on. You met him, right? <laughs> Nobody like that guy. Nobody does Nobody's like the him. the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. <laughs> okay. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Maybe he hid the item. All right, so I've come to the conclusion Cassie is very quick to respond, but seems too quiet. Captain Sparkles is just awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Dan is very... I don't know, he doesn't really want to talk. Lizzie, she just says whatever's on her mind. So let's find out what Stacy and Stampy come up with. Let's see what... I love I loved this art in the background, though, that... A chicken docky. Let's just see what these these think. Let's try and get the conclusion, the final conclusion. All right, things are very mixed up. And this cake hey on the guys, table. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey Jesse, what's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Stacy was interested in this stuff. Why doesn't Lizzie like him? Who would kill Talk Dog? Thanks. That's it. Let's go with this one. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. Oh. You don't say. Okay, then. Now we know why she did If someone stole, came into my house and stole my stuff, I wouldn't be happy. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat. Sturdy Cat. cat. Right, right. <laughs> so did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my why so secretive? Thank good. Yeah, you why so secretive? A rare item. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted it's flint the and steel? It's the one that they've got. How did you know that? I have one. Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little oh, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay, uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. I like Sparkles. He makes me laugh. Like, he Everyone? literally is the best. Everyone, we've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Uh oh. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. They killed Sparkles! They killed Sparkles! No, 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 this guy, no, what's going on? No, no, no! Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on! This is awful, terrible! Who was that guy? And 
there's no such thing as white Don't pumpkin. Don't have to the white pumpkins <laughs> hanging all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like it. I really don't. I saw him in the window. I actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? I'm so getting out of here. Much for a nice dinner party. Uh oh. I like the sound of that. Oh. That's a lot of zombies. Why would you open the door? Shut the door! Shut the door! Quickly! Flick this lever! And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously, Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Uh oh. No, I'm so. I'm really sad about Captain Sparkles. Well, I really enjoyed him so next. much. Nope. Not Why would he want you? I'll protect you. Aren't you scared? Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical can't explanation lose Ivor, how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, uh -huh. I need to find out what makes these traps tick. Alrighty. Like I did say. Alright, I'm gonna investigate traps. that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Okay. So my conclusion is, <laughs> I'm sad about Captain Sparkles, I'm not gonna lie, I really, 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 really was enjoying him, like, I'm super sad that he's gone. Uh, the conclusion is that this place is full of traps, it's rigged, he was killing people as they were starting to figure him out. Uh, they, I don't know why I talk, dog, dad, he was just mean, so let's just look at this, okay, let's examine this. It's a lot to examine, this cake though, maybe it's trapped. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Piston. <gasps> There's a button. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Okay. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to throw us off the trail. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail. Make us think there were two White Pumpkins or something. Ah. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Okay, that's... Uh -oh. He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. We can't must- Understandably. We can't master White Pumpkin. This house is a big- yeah. It means that the White Pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, and now he's just watching us get snared in it. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. I knew it! It could be, actually. Or is it? And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. 
I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? We connect the evidence, we keep on looking for clues. Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Uh-oh. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I I'm not accusing anyone exactly. yet. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Lizzie. Lizzie. Seems all mysterious. And I don't know, all he needs now is a pipe. Here we go. Interrogation number one. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan? Dan! You invite the people in here to find it? My nose. Enough so to aggravating. kill for it? Wow, would you kill someone for it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fellow, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Did you take the flint and steel? How are you making traps? You know about tipped arrows. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Mm. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. I really think it's Cassie. Did you take the flint and steel? I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. If you're looking for a likely culprit? I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Ooh. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. Mm. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. I don't think it is Lizzie. She seems too honest. She's very honest. She says what she Who's thinks. Who's up next? Who's up next? Let's go for... Bring me Stampy. Bring me down. Let's save Stampy to last. Can you send Let's Dan go with in, Dan. Please. Right. I think Dan's a little bit... He's too quiet for me in this series so far. Let's have a little bit of a chat with Dan. I saw Lizzie on the way out. I don't know what she told you, but... See? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. That's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's going on. I was invited here, same as everyone else. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Show him the arrow. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. 
So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. They they all go back to Stampy. You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see, he's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Who stole your flint and steel? Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I I don't like uh, accusing people, but my <laughs> guess would be Stampy. He likes to play it off like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. All the fingers are pointing at Want Stampy at this Stampy? current point. Yeah, send him in. So let's just see what gets set this time. Because things are this too suspicious. Everyone seems very fishy. I just don't think it's Lizzie, though. To me, she didn't seem like the type Jesse, of person. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. Sit down, Stampy. Please. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy! So you don't want a portal Everyone's key? Everyone's friend. Oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> he just seems very fishy. Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What uh, What are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even a expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Oh, okay. Classic Dan move. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's worried about... They're all just and brewing throwing and all names that. everywhere. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. No. Oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. This is true. He did have a button. We have to interrogate him. Although I don't think it is him. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop These whispering people have and too rumors yeah. out there. There's so much yeah, drama. It's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's... Hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes, where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jessie was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, I suspect come on. Dan, I think it might be Stampy. Not sure enough. Mm, not sure enough. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. 
and I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these the things work, the White Pumpkin work, was watching the by the trap is in the kitchen. The white pumpkin is. It was triggered nearby. Operating. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons we make like sure this place is room? safe. We need to con yeah, we need to conspicuous white this pumpkins one. lying around. We need to make sure it's this safe. whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Alrighty, I'm gonna end part two here. This has been like the interrogation part. However, I really don't think it's any of the YouTubers. Don't think it's Lizzie. She's too honest. Don't think it's Dan, because he doesn't seem like a redstone expert. And Stampy, it looks like all the fingers are pointing at Stampy, so if it was anyone, it would be Stampy. But then again, I think that's just the way the game wants you to believe. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to thumbs it up. I'll be back with part three of episode six very soon. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you soon. Bye!